Hey, did you ever wonder what happens to that waste when you flush a toilet at 40,000 feet? Let's break this down because it's not what you might imagine. First, let's explore this further. That waste doesn't just magically disappear. Instead, it takes a wild journey down a heated tube. Think about that. A heated tube. Why? Because at those altitudes, the temperature plummets to a bone-chilling minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That heated tube keeps everything from freezing solid. Here's what they don't tell you. The waste is stored in a tank, and guess what? There's sensors on that tank to prevent any overflows. That's pretty high-tech waste management, huh? Now, let's delve a little deeper. Only black water goes into the main tank. Gray water is handled differently. You know the stuff from sinks and showers? That's often disposed of overboard in a way that is environmentally sound. And this all happens until the plane lands. Once the aircraft touches the ground, the waste tank is emptied using specialized equipment. So, there you have it. The incredible journey of your waste at 40,000 feet. But here's the lingering question. Considering the technology involved, why aren't there more eco-friendly options for dealing with waste during flights?